was I gonna say? It was gonna be like really corny. I know that. Oh. And oh, today we're gonna turn it up to 11. <laughs> we're turning 11 from Stranger Things into a bake cake. I'm excited about this. I love the first season, the second season. Very lukewarm, but it's all right. I'm still excited for season three, so let's get started. To create this cake, I'm doing the exact same thing that I do for all the bake cakes, so you're pretty much just looking at stock footage. <laughs> I do the exact same thing, and I'm kind of tired of all the voiceover, so let's just talk about Eleven. I really love this version of Eleven, the pink dress, the blue jacket, it's so iconic now. And I love that during Halloween, my Instagram's just flooded with like people wearing it, and it's not just little girls, it's like grown men. I saw a whole bunch of skinheads dressing like this, and then there was this like really big black guy yo he was rocking this dress so hard legendary he looks so good now after I finished with the basics of this cake I hold on okay now after I finished with the basics of this cake I added a very large piece of 11 skin tone fondant now I'm just using some sculpting tools to separate her arms um, and her head I just cut away the excess with a paring knife. I'm gonna add some white fondant on her feet so that I can start to create the rest of her outfit. I know that feet is already plural, but I don't know why. I just like saying feet. I'm like a five-year-old boy. I'm just using some small strips of green and orange fondant to create her sock stripes. And then I started to create her beautiful dress. So iconic and gorgeous, you guys. I just had to get it for myself. Oh my god, I look so good. New York Fashion Week? Pfft. I'm too good for that, and you know this. Now I added a long strip of pink fondant very loosely so it could add some ruffles to create the bottom of her dress. Now I'm using small rectangles so I could create the ruffles at the front of the dress. And don't worry about the sides because we're gonna panel it with blue fondant to create the jacket. And I just repeated that process two times to create the top. Pop the collar, oh no, don't pop the collar. It's supposed to be flat. Looks bomb like that. Oh, look at you. You're killing the game with this. Ooh. Ooh. Now I added some white shapes to create the collar. And then I added some blue fondant to the side of the dress and just made sure that I covered her arms as well so that I could begin to create her jacket. Oh, what? But that jacket though. Holy moly. Do I look sick? be putting in a, some sort of a facility. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take this off, it's really hot. Who knew that like a jacket with a pink dress would make you look like such a badass? Now I know that she's supposed to be bald, but I didn't want her to be like completely bald. So I'm adding some pale brown fondant, and then I just used some fondant tools to make it seem like you could see her scalp a little bit. You know. She's not completely bald. She's got like that Jason Statham sort of thing where you know that there's hair, but also there's no hair. Now I added two angry black eyes and then a frown. Then I gave her two catch lights and a bloody nose. You don't see a nose, but you know that it's bleeding. And last but definitely not least, I added a very tiny fondant waffle. And voila, my 11 bay cake from Stranger Things was complete. I love her expression on her face and I love this outfit. Yeah, I'm curious, did you guys like the second season of Stranger Things? I thought it was, it was okay. It seemed more like they were just planting seeds for seasons three and four. If you wanna recreate this for your friends, there's templates for you on my Facebook page. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you, I will see you very soon. Bye. Peace.